there! So in this video I'll be showing you how to get loose curls using a curling iron. Um, this is the after end result. Um, I used a one inch curling iron this size and before I curled I used some products to prep my hair. So after I washed my hair I towel dried it and I used some leave-in conditioner and a treatment oil. So the leave-in conditioner that I used is by number four. It's called Super Comb Prep and Protect. Okay, so that was to give my hair lots of softness and shine and also protect it from heat and um, to just be conditioning it as well throughout the day. And the argon treatment I used is by Numa. It looks like this. So this is an argon oil um, to help treat my ends from damage, repair any damage, and um, to also just add a lot of shine and softness. So I used those before I blow dried my hair and then after I blow dried my hair is when I did the curling. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is section the hair in halves. So we're gonna take the top half of your hair and clip that up. So, starting with the bottom, you're just gonna take um, sections of the hair the larger sections that you take, um, the looser the curl is going to be. So if you want it to be a little tighter, you can take smaller sections. If you want the curl to be a little bit looser, you could take larger sections. So the way we're going to do this is starting from the top of the section, you're going to clamp. So we want the curling iron to be positioned with the clamp closest to you and you're going to clamp the hair and twist it away from your face and you're sliding it down the hair and you're going to turn and then slowly releasing the clamp you're going to continue turning the barrel like this. Okay, so you just hold that for a few seconds and when you release it, you bring the curling iron down and you unclamp as you pull it down. Okay, so, and then I'm going to immediately loosen this because I want it to be a really loose curl. If your hair doesn't hold curl very well, you can just leave it as is without touching it. Mine does, so I am going to loosen it while it's still hot. Okay, and we're going to continue this all along the bottom section until um, we complete that and then we'll do the top. Now we're going to take the top down and we're going to continue curling in that same way in the top section of the hair. Now with these front pieces right around the face, um, I do it a little bit differently. I hold the curling iron um, sort of horizontally this way and I curl the hair upside down. So the clamp is going to be on the bottom and then we're going to Put the hair inside the clamp and we're going to twist it up and away from the face. And I like to do this part a lot looser so I don't hold it for very long and then I let it come out. Okay, so then on this side I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so these, these sections here, I'm going to do it that way, and these sections here, and then in the back, we're going to, just going to do it the same as we did it on the bottom.
Okay, so once we have the hair all the way curled, I'm going to loosen it even more with a wide tooth comb. So you just brush this all the way through. And it will continue to loosen the more you brush it through. Okay, so there you have it. This is the finished look. It is a loose curl and it's very shiny and soft looking. So I hope you like it and be sure to leave a comment and let me know if there's anything that you would like to see next time. Thank you so much.